What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve the visibility and usability of Big Sur's menu bar. With the release of Big Sur, macOS has received a huge interface overhaul, and this includes the menu bar. But this hasn't been without controversy. For example, the menu bar's transparency or the spacing between icons just being much too big. Or for example, if you have a full-size window, such as this Finder window, you'll notice that the menu bar is still straight and flat, but the new windows have a curved corner, which seems kind of inconsistent. You'll also notice that there's a little bit of a gap between the menu bar and the full-size window, so you can see your desktop background bleeding through. All these little inconsistencies add up to a bit of frustration with macOS and its new menu bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some ways first the built-in methods and then with some third-party apps on how to tweak the menu bar to get some improvements and hopefully make it a little bit nicer to use. So starting with the free options, we're first going to go to System Preferences and then we're going to go to the Accessibilities tab. From here we'll go to Display in the left sidebar and we're going to click two settings. The first is going to be Reduce Transparency. When you click this, You'll see that the menu bar goes completely black since I'm in dark mode. If you're using light mode, the menu bar will go gray instead. One other effect you'll notice is that the window, in this case the system preferences window, changes the color a little bit because it's no longer having to be transparent and therefore no longer pulling the colors in from the background. If you find the menu bar is a little bit too hard to read, you can go two steps below to menu bar size and change it from default to large. This will increase the size a little bit, and I do mean a little bit. You're gonna have to reboot your Mac before it actually shows anything. But once you do, you can see that the size increase is marginal at best. I honestly had to go back and check my settings to make sure that I didn't reboot with the wrong setting in place. So just keep that in mind. If you feel like you need a few more changes to your menu bar to improve it, I've got two third-party recommendations for you. The first tool is called Boring Old Menu Bar, which you can get from publicspace.net. I'll have a link in the description. This is not a free app, it's $9.95, but they offer a two week free trial so you can give yourself some time to play with it and see if it's worth paying for. So once you've gotten installed, the app will sit in your menu bar, and from here you can edit and change the settings that you want. Let's go ahead and look at it. So right now, Boring Old Menu Bar is turned off, so that's why the Big Sur Menu Bar doesn't look any different. On the side here, you'll see that you have an option for light mode setting as well as for dark mode setting. You also have options for the screen corner rounding and menu bar size. So if I click on this, you can see I could set the menu bar bigger or smaller than I would normally. We'll talk about these settings later. For right now, since I'm in dark mode, I'll talk about the dark mode settings. I've got the menu bar style set to Catalina Dark, so it's going to look very similar to macOS Catalina. You also have a divider style which is this little line called single pixel. This fills in that little gap in between the menu bar and a maximized window. Let me go ahead and show you what this all looks like. So starting with a maximized window on the default settings, you can see the gap there as well as the transparent menu bar. We now are going to enable boring old menu bar and in a few seconds, you can now see that the menu bar has gone black. It still has a little bit of a gradient there, but it is more the traditional Catalina dark. You can also see a little bit that the gap has disappeared between the menu bar and the app. And you actually have multiple settings that you can go through. So for example, I can change this to the more traditional white for the macOS menu bar. Or I can set it to a different color, such as dark gray. You can even set your own custom menu bar colors. If you click the custom option, you'll then have the options to select the menu bar color as well as the divider color, which is set currently to green as the menu bar and red as the divider color. This also makes it a little bit easier to see the difference here that the divider is adding. Changing the menu bar color back to white for just a moment, I can better show you the screen corners options. The screen corner options affect the four corners of the Mac screen, though in this case it really affects the menu bar the most. So I'll set the top right screen corner to the maximum rounded value, and you can watch as the top right corner goes from a more square design to a rounded design, much like iOS. The next app I'm going to recommend is Bartender. Now this is a great app even if you don't have Big Sur because its whole point is to hide menu bar icons. So there are apps that I do want accessible in the menu bar and running, but I don't necessarily need them taking up all the menu bar space. So I can use Bartender here to hide them. But if you're using Bartender 4 on Big Sur, you can also use it to change the spacing of your menu bar items. Just open up Preferences and toward the bottom of the General tab, you'll see the menu bar item spacing. You have Default, which is Big Sur's own spacing small, which is the traditional macOS spacing, 
and then no spacing if you want it really tight and really close together. I'm going to be selecting small spacing for demonstration purposes and when you do this you're going to be prompted to reboot or log out of your Mac and log back in. So let me reboot and I'll show you what it looks like. And now upon reboot you can see that the menu bar items are much closer together. I could actually fit a lot more in the menu bar if I wanted to. But for me, I like this little bit of a tighter style, much like the older Mac OS's have. But again, this is a personal choice and you can always go back to Bartender and change it if you want to. Now, just like Boring Old Menu Bar, Bartender is not a free app. It actually costs $15 to use, but you do get a 30 day free trial if you want to experiment and play around with it. You can get it at macbartender.com. I'll have a link to it in the description. Even if you don't care about Big Sur's menu bar spacing, if you have a lot of menu bar icons, if you're running a lot of things in the background that take up space in the menu bar, I would absolutely recommend Bartender. It doesn't take a whole lot of resources. You get a whole lot of settings about how the icon looks and how it interacts with the menu bar icons and how it brings stuff up or makes it go away. So it has a lot of functionality and flexibility. So again, if you have a lot of menu bar icons, you might want to check it out anyway. But with those two apps and tweaks, you now have a menu bar that looks, feels, and acts much more like the traditional macOS menu bar. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and it helped you out, please leave a like because it helps the channel out. And if you want more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice, you can always subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on social media. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.